Walking Dead this week. Um, I haven't reviewed Walking Dead a lot, mostly because in season season, season four I missed the first uh, eight episodes, and I kind of haven't been watching them uh, thanks to Saturday's um, a little uh, mar uh, mar marathon. I did honestly get a chance chance to catch up. However, it was what I did did expect, you know, with the governor being shot in the head and Herschel dying and all that. You know, because I read the comics and, you know, it did kind of stay true true um, uh, to a little bit of that, you know. And um, it did actually kind of change a lot. Of, uh, it did change change a little bit, but pretty much it did follow, follow the, the same accord. And it leads into this whole thing of, of the whole Carl and Rick scene, Carl alone, and then the Michonne thing. And pretty much, I'm going to try and cover this as quickly as possible. But, um, but um, starting off with the whole Rick and the whole Rick and uh, Carl thing, Rick honestly still still uh, still uh, tries to look after his son. Um, and and honestly, it is a good thing that technically he's still trying man to be a father for him. And you know, however, however, at this point in time, Carl does actually blame him for everything, which which does. Um, uh, which did happen at um uh, the prison, such as, such as what's the name um uh, such as the governor leading an army, um leading up to pretty much all of the devastation and all the problems which did kind of happen there. He blamed all that on his father, um pretty much telling him that um um he shouldn't have been a farmer. He was talking about planting crops and pretty much he should have chased after Herschel and could have and should have stopped him from trying to to um uh attack them and everything even though possibly no one knew where um uh, her or where uh, the governor had went then leading on to Carl alone we do honestly which this one was actually way more subtle in how it in how it was even going as far as him pretty much like wishing his father dead dead and everything which that for this one it was a little bit more subtle about it because he was at, because it actually showed him just like just you know leading zom uh, leading zombies away. Him pretty much scavenging areas. Him honestly trying man to deal with zombies. And you know honestly, even though he did get attacked twice, he did honestly did kind of think um uh, he did actually manage to to pretty much take out take take out the zombies which were on him. Well, not the second one, but like the first three in which that he did have uh, have have to lead away. Then, um, you know, uh, then at the end of the episode, we do kind of have like a, like a, like a quaint little bonding moment with him and Rick, you know, basically Rick telling him that, um, um, you know, he's sorry for treating him like a kid and, and, um, and tells him that, uh, he's proud of, um, uh, the fact that, uh, he knows how, um, uh, to scavenge, scavenge and take care of himself and, and also he looked out for him when, um, um, he almost died. Then cutting over to the um uh, to to uh, the uh, Michonne thing, it was it was actually kind of a more of a psycho psychological thing because in her dreams it cut from talking about her her life before all this happened, and then after that it cut over to the last the possible last the possible last few moments of when she was in her last group or or pretty much the group with um. Her boyfriend, or in this case, lover and friend, Rick and Ross. I'm guessing that that's that that's their names. Or, well, I mean, Mike, Mike, uh, Mike, Mike, Mike and Russ. I think. But um, uh, it cuts from them being in the life before the um outbreak. Then it's them in their group, and then the last shot is. Uh, she also has her baby, and also the last shot is with them without their arms. Possibly those two zombies who were in season two, they could have been Mike and Russ. Possibly. We don't necessarily know. However, however, they're zombies without arm. I mean, like, they're standing, they're sitting there without arms, and it turns out that everything was a dream. Then, pretty much, uh, she tries to go back to going, going through a default mode of basically, or at least I assume, from how we saw her or at least how, or at least how she was introduced in season two, uh, with uh, carrying carrying the zombies with the chain, or at least this time she had them tied around a rope. They didn't have arms or, or mouth, and 
and somewhere along the line, she emotionally breaks down and just kills all of uh, of, uh, of 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 uh, the zombies, and then treks off to a bar somewhere. I guess it's possibly it's possibly the place where um it's possibly like some place that had to had to do with Mike, and possibly the place in which that um it's possibly the last place her her and her group went, possibly before Mike Mike died. But then afterwards, she goes and she meets up with Carl and Rick. You know, because she has some keen tracking skills. And, you know, she meets up with them and, hey, it's all happy and sunshine and roses. So now they have to find everybody else. Pretty much for this episode, I did actually pretty like it. Um, it did actually kind of push some of, some, some, of, some, some of the boundaries. And it did actually kind of capture the whole aftermath feel of right after the prison was taken down and how and how and how how everybody's coping with it we don't see all the other characters possibly until the next episode because that's what the preview or at least like for their uh the preview is showing like here's what maggie and glenn is doing here's what daryl and daryl's doing here's what um here's uh here's what tyree and his daughter's doing stuff like that and pretty much it um um i believe that 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 for these next few episodes they will try and Try and talk about the aftermath and pretty much show what what each character is doing off b before they come back and they they uh they meet up again. So pretty much that's kind of all I got to say about that. What do you guys think about it? This episode was was uh, was a uh, was pretty cool. And hey, it was one of the and uh, and hey, it was one of the, one of the better episodes to or at least one of the better subtle ep ep uh, episodes to come out in a good while. So pretty much I'll see you guys. On the next John Grave show, please tell me what you think about this, and I will see you guys next time. I'm out.